95. We got ourselves a two for Tuesday. On a two for Tuesday. Here at I-95, Ethan Lou at uh, 9.15. First chance to qualify for the football man cave this hour, All between right. now and 10 o'clock. I want as much time for the segment as we could possibly get. So let me Are just you tell you, me to shut up? here's a piece of uh, audio from a trailer t- for the uh, documentary film Soldiers of Vietnam. And some of the things that I'm about to say, it's the first time in like 50 years that I can admit it. Big ball, scene two. We were up you know, up there and to see if we drew fire from the ground. So we were there to support the 3rd Battalion, 27th Marine Regiment. Our job was to retrieve pilots that had already bombed the North but had been hit, and we had to retrieve them. I was shot down twice. We flipped over in, in the paddy, Rice Paddy Dykes. But I had to accept the fact that I might die here. Not to say that I'd do it again, but I'm very proud to have done it. I'm glad you don't have your headphones on because I botched that edit. (laughs) (laughs) Filmmaker Chris Bryant joins us in the studio. Chris, thanks for joining us, man. Thanks Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, It's good to have you. We're buddies. You're a local guy. You're a New Milford guy. Yes, sir. And you did this film about uh, soldiers of Vietnam. Now, uh, tell tell us about it. Yeah, I mean this. This actually came uh, came around uh, from the producer Simon Melzer. I'm involved with the New Milford Film Commission a bit, and um, he asked if I could look at some photos that he had, and they were never before seen photos from his best friend, who was a combat photographer in Vietnam, and had passed away in 2012 from complications for from Agent Orange exposure, of course. Um, and he had all these photographs, and he said, "I'd like to make some kind of a film or something with these pictures." And I said, well, you know, I'll take a look at him. And we met at the Bank Street Coffee House, and we were going through him, and he brought it on an iPad. And I said, there's no way I can't not do something with this. It's just so powerful. And originally it was going to be like a, essentially almost like a slideshow of the photographs with commentary from veterans, you know, kind of describing things. But it, it during the interview process, it grew into so much more than that. And the film, as it stands now, is is about the soldiers themselves. It's about... Uh, their uh, their process before, like how they got into the war, their process, you know, what happened while they were on the ground, and very importantly, what happened when they came home. I know from experience getting veterans to talk about what they've had to go through, particularly Vietnam veterans, uh, it's not an easy thing to do. And not only did you get these guys to trust you enough to tell their story correctly, but you got local guys, guys that live in this area, two from Brookfield, you mentioned, one from Hartford, another from Long Island, uh, to tell their story. Yeah, that was the hardest part. Um, Production didn't kick off for a while. I was searching for vets who would be open to speaking about it, and a lot of the guys won't even speak about it in private to their spouses, let alone in front of a camera. So that was a big um, challenge. And the guys I found, they were great. I've got a nice round um, you know, view of everybody. I've got two Army guys, a Marine, uh, a Navy guy, and uh, the Air Force is represented via the photographs. Um, but, yeah, it was, um, it was a challenge finding people, but the guys I found, they were absolutely fantastic, uh, really, really great. I showed Ethan the, the trailer about a month ago when you had sent it to me. And you kind of like, you got, you had like feelings. I mean, you were almost drafted, right? I was number 89 in the draft in 1969, my last year of high school. And I failed my first physical. They couldn't find a vein to, to get blood. And they didn't have time to find one because there were a lot of guys there. This was when Buffalo, we took a bus from Rochester to Buffalo. Went again, failed it again, and that was it. But I'm just wondering if I would have served in Vietnam, what my life would be like now. Right. Because back then, there was no PTSD. I mean, there was no such thing. I mean, there was PTSD, but it wasn't... It wasn't recognized as such. Um, And I got a feeling that the Vietnam vets never got any help because they didn't think they needed to. Mm -hmm. Because there wasn't anything, anybody to get help from. Right. Yeah, Yeah. And, and they were kind of urged to keep it quiet. Right. And that's also touched on in the documentary as well. Plus, they were... I would say pretty much hated when they their came welcome back. home was not Absolutely. not great not great now so now the New Milford Film Festival is going on right now as we speak started this mm-hmm. past Sunday and it goes to this Saturday 
you are, this is the first time anybody's going to be able to see your film, is tomorrow at 5 o'clock uh, at the Bank Street Theater, correct? Correct, yep. And there's a Q&A afterwards with myself and some of the vets from the film. And you, I've, I would imagine, have been attending the, uh, the film festival. Absolutely, yeah. We saw the Cobblestone Quarter last night. It was fantastic. I mean, that, that's from CPTV. I mean, you're thinking, like, between two ferns type stuff. For C- <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I was blown away when I saw the trailer for it, so I, I went in with high expectations. And I saw it, and even then I was impressed. I mean, and it was, it was funny than I was expecting to. It was really, really good. I mean, everybody that went really, it, they responded well to it. It was fantastic. That's cool. So everybody get out and see the film at the Bank Street Theater tomorrow at uh, 5 o'clock. Do you need tickets? What do you need to do? Yeah, good question. Um, it, it's a free event, but you do need tickets because we're expecting to be filled to capacity. Okay. Um, so, I mean, they're free. Just go down to the Bank Street Theater and say, you know, you want X amount of tickets for Soldiers of Vietnam, and you're in. But okay. you do need a ticket to get in. I need you to clear your schedule because, as you know, we've been talking about a project, and I need to get the hell out of here, okay? i got to start right. making some real money. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, after, after the film festival... Are there any mainstream ways to be able to view this film if you can't make the the uh, screening? Mainstream, not yet. We are in talks to show it a couple more times at the Bank Street Theater at the mm-hmm. end of October. Uh, there will be more information on that on the Soldiers of Vietnam Facebook page coming up in the, in the next coming days. Um, I'm looking to push this through to the film festival circuits. And then once that's done, I want to just put it out on YouTube for free for people to watch. Mm-hmm. No charge. Because it is. The, tra- the trailer is just riveting. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. So uh, check out uh, Soldiers of Vietnam. Chris, thank you for your time. Appreciate thank it. Thank you Chris very Bryan. much, Chris. Thanks, guys. It's uh, 921. You got Ethan and Lou here at uh, I-95. We'll be back uh, momentarily. But uh, let me tell you about, well, I'm going to have uh, this guy tell you about the man cave. I-95. This guy.